Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our new product Sidepars. Well, first of all, you have to go to our website sidepars.com and install our bookmarklet. Now this is done very easily by just dragging and dropping this link to your browser's bookmarks toolbar and it will appear right next to your other bookmarks. And this will work for most browsers with exception of Internet Explorer where we have to right click on this link and tell the browser to bookmark it. Okay, now let's go to a web page that has some data that we'd like to collect. In this example I'm going to use news.ycombinator.com which is a website that has a list of links that were posted by some users and each link has some additional information about it like its title, its source and the number of points this link received by the voting and number of commands and so on. Now let's say we'd like to extract the title, the source and the number of points for each link. We click on the side parse bookmark and this pop-up will appear. Now this pop-up will help us to define the information that we'd like to extract. First of all we have to click on the new objects button to create a new object for this page. Its name comes from the title of the page that we were browsing but you can rename it to something more appropriate if you'd like by just clicking on it and typing something in. Now to add attributes to our object we have to click on the add new button. Okay. To describe an attribute we have to point with our mouse on an element of the page that contains this attribute. For example, we will start with the title of this link, so we, ha we have to find a title somewhere on the page and click on it. And as you see, all the other titles are highlighted automatically, with exception of this one which was missed by our algorithm. But to add it, we have to simply click on it and it will be added to the list. Okay. Now, as you see, all the titles are highlighted and we can save this attribute by clicking OK here. And we can rename it to something more meaningful like title. OK, now let's add a second attribute. The second attribute will be the source, so we will we just find the an element on the page that contains the source, hit click on it and all the rest is highlighted so we can again rename it to something more meaningful and click OK. And the third attribute will be the number of points. So again just find the element on the page that contains the number of points and click on it and the rest will be highlighted. Well in this case it may be better to actually extract only the number of points without the word points that appears inside the text content of these nodes and to do so we have to change the extract option to a regular expression and type in a regular expression that matches only the digits in the text content of these nodes and click enter hit enter Okay, so you see that there are two buttons next to the regex uh, text box and these are G and I. Well, G means that the regular expression will be set to a global one, which means that not only the first match of the regular expression will be taken, but all of the matches. And the I button means that the regular expression is case, case insensitive. Okay, so for those of you who know regular expressions, this should sound very familiar. Okay, now as I said, in this example only the portion that matches the regular expression will be extracted. 
so we will save the attribute and rename it to points okay finally it may be a good idea to define a, to set a primary key for our objects. Well, a primary key is, a, is an attribute or a combination of attributes that uniquely identifies our objects. And in this example, it may be a good idea to set the title to be a primary key. After we've done this, we can click the submit button and submit our data to sidebars. Okay, now what happens? is that we are redirected to a login page where we can log in with our existing Google account to our service so you don't have to create an extra account for it you can just log in with your Google account okay now our data will be available in a second that's it on this page you can see the information that was collected from Hacker News in a more structured way so for each row in this table represents a, a link entry in the web page of Hacker News and each column in this table represents an attribute so you can see the titles, the sources and the number of points for every link but uh, more interestingly if you hit the home button you will see a list of all the pages that you collect data from in this way for example this is the hacker news entry that we just created and there are several options uh, for the usage of this data for example you can subscribe to an RSS feed that is associated with with the data or you can get a JSON feed and use the data in a more programmatical way or you can download the data as a comma separated file and uh, work with it in Excel or any other spreadsheet program so from now on what will happen is that uh, site parse will visit regularly each of these pages and collect the newest data from it and store it in our database so it will be available for you at any time via one of these options and that's it more or less we would be very happy to hear any feedback from you any comments ideas problems hints and so on and we encourage you to use this form and send us your feedback thank you